Hey, what's up, Diamonds? It's your boy, Christopher Doc Reed, your favorite relationship and life coach out here. One more again, telling you what your father didn't tell you and your mother did not know. Listen, so I know many of you have given yourself to men who do not see your value. How do I know? Because he has expected you to chase and pursue him in the relationship. He wants you to do all the work. He takes no initiative, okay? And the reality is many of you have done this. You have only seen his value with no expectation for him to see your value. How do I know? Because many of you, you see this potential in him and you start chasing that potential. You start seeing, oh, how great he can be. You know, uh, all he needs is someone to support him. He never got what he needed. You know what I'm saying? But do you expect the same? Or do you say, oh, no, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm superwoman. I'm the CEO. You don't say that with your words, but you say that with your action. And the problem is you do not know your value. Your self-worth, I hate to say it, is non-existent. You know what I'm saying? Because many of you, if you get too much attention, if they put the spotlight too much on you, you get uncomfortable. I, 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 I don't like that. Why is it difficult for you to be center stage? Okay, because of not knowing your value. The fear is when they put that spotlight on you, oh, they're going to see who I really am. They're going to see that I'm not who they think I am. Okay, let me share something with you. It's hard to expect a man to accept what you reject. All right, so, and I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, it's, it's hard when you grew up being emotionally abandoned, okay? You had very neglectful parents, facts, all right? Some of you had a narcissistic parent from hell, facts. Many of you, the scapegoat. If anything happened that was bad, it was put on you. Told that you're never going to be nothing. Never told, I love you. I can't tell you how many clients I've had who have told me, Doc, I didn't, I didn't grow up with anybody telling me that they love me. I they didn't even say that in my house. My mom, she didn't hug me. She didn't touch me. Nothing. My dad didn't. I mean, no, I never got any of that. Scripture says this. You train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are older, they will not depart. My question is, how were you trained? Okay. Now, here's what I'm about to do. I'm going to tell you the truth right now. And I'm going to help make you free. Have you ever seen these, these real fancy auctions when they're selling, you know, real expensive items, paintings, um, different sculptures, works of art. And you see, wait a minute, somebody paid millions of dollars for that. What? You know, they've been there like, uh, uh, 35, 50, 55, uh, 15 million. Mm. Uh, that, 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 all right, 20 million. All right, sold for 200 million to the guy at the polo. He's like, 200 million. Here's the thing it don't matter if you don't see the value. Guess what? It doesn't matter, all right? Because just because you have eyeballs, don't mean that you can see. And every joker walking around here with eyeballs don't mean that they can see your value, okay? Here's the reality. The person who purchased it for 200 million knows its value. And also, what's even more important, the creator of the work knows the value because they were willing to, to write a line across a canvas and say, ooh, I know I can get 2 million, 200 million for this and they put it up there. So let me tell you something. Your creator knows your value. And he says, I have someone looking for a you original. Not her, not her. They're looking for a you original. 
So stop giving you away at swap meets. You're supposed to be at the fancy auction and you out here at the swap meet. Stop it. Okay. You are a one of a kind original and there's someone God has out here who sees your value. Okay. He has eyeballs and he can see. All right. So let me ask you this. Were you told growing up that you were nothing? Do you believe no one will choose you. Are you giving yourself away? If this is you, please do yourself a favor. Okay. Reach out to me. Let's talk. Okay. I come out here all the time doing these videos because I talk to the women every day who tell me, doc, I don't know my value. Doc, I've accepted this. Doc, and it's unnecessary. Do you, you know, Doc, do you think someone would want me? Why would they want me? And I, it just breaks my heart. You know what I'm saying? So listen, let's talk. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Okay, so we can talk about how coaching can help you, all right, to know that you are a one of a kind. Because many of you are out here walking around thinking, no one's going to choose me. No one wants me. I don't believe this love stuff that people are selling. I just don't. And, 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 and it makes me angry. That the enemy has convinced many of you that this is true. That you don't, you don't believe there's a promised land. You only believe that there's bondage. You only believe that there's hell because it's too painful for you to believe that there's a heaven. I'm trying to tell you, whatever you believe it is, it is. Okay? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, scripture says. So please do not believe the, uh, the lie of the enemy. So I look forward to talking to you. Um, also, join me every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my closed Facebook group, The Diamond Mind. OK, we are talking about a lot of fun and exciting things. Last Wednesday, I talked about how you can spot the warning signs of gaslighting and manipulation. Let me tell you this. Many of you are being manipulated due to what we just talked about today. All right. Not knowing your value. So guess what? This narcissist, this manipulator comes along and he talks to you and he's sizing you up and he says, oh, my God, she doesn't know who she is. She was never told how valuable she is. She's been in bad relationship after bad relationship. And you know what he does? He says exactly what you want. And need to hear so he can get you in his web. And then once he gets you in, he can do whatever he wants. Okay. You don't have to be tricked anymore. Okay. So if you want to be a part of the Facebook group, go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. You can see there how to join the group and then check, check the replay. I'm actually going to do a part two of that um, tomorrow. So also make sure you check out the video series, Why He Married Her Instead of You. Where, you know, these guys are telling you how, you know, they have had eyes to see the value in the one they chose. Okay. It, it, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. All right. But it was the one that God had put on their heart. Okay. That's who they had eyes for. So anyway, if you're interested in that, you can see that at the website as well. So listen, I'm out of here. God bless you. Know that you are a one of a kind original. Peace.